Hey everybody, it's Dustin Briley with the Briley Brothers. Today we are looking at this three bed, two bath, 1,326 square foot home in Chandler, Arizona. This home is listed at 480,000 and the cross streets are gonna be Alma School and Pecos. The nice part about this particular property is it has great access to the 202, which is wonderful. So you could hop on that and really get anywhere very quickly. Here is a pan of the neighborhood. It's just full of, you know, your typical track home neighborhood, single family, one story homes. This particular property doesn't have any grass in the front, but it has a great backyard, two car garage. This uh, property just fell out of contract, so it is available. If this is your first time to the channel, you know, what we do is we go out and we shoot videos and we talk about what it's like to live uh, and buy real estate in Phoenix, Arizona. And so if that's what you're looking for, this is going to be the channel for you. If you have any questions, go down in the descriptions and uh, reach out to us. We get calls, text, emails every single day of the week. And we love to help people, whether you're here in Arizona or you're moving to Arizona, we can help you find uh, the right neighborhood that's going to fit your lifestyle. So as you can see, as we, we walk in, we walk right into the uh, main living room. It looks like they're probably putting their couch on this wall, which separates the kitchen from the living area and their TV right there. So you could, uh, so you could watch it from the kitchen as well. The towel's been recently cleaned. The towel's in great shape. The paint looks great. So this is a small bedroom. It is a legal bedroom since they put a closet, but it's gonna be hard to put a much of a bed in here. So this is gonna be something you're gonna to have to look at is, can I, uh, can, was that gonna work? It was really set up for like a home office in my opinion, but that's right as, right off the front door. So let's kind of take a loop around. So down this hallway is gonna be the second bedroom and then the guest bathroom. The master and the garage are gonna be over there. And then this is that loop around to kind of a galley kitchen with a peekaboo view to the living room. Cabinets are in great shape. The appliances stay with the house. They're in great shape as well. I have, you don't see too many sinks that are brown to match the tile. They really like this tone. Here is the dining area. You're not gonna be able to fit a huge table, but it's gonna be adequate for this house. There is no bar or island or anything. So your table will go over here and you would be able to see into the living room and into the kitchen. So right here is the guest bathroom. It's a solid surface, shower enclosure. We have storage right here that could be used as a pantry or a linen closet. And here is the second bedroom. This is just a normal size bedroom, normal closet. It is not a walk-in. It does have vaulted ceilings in here. And if you've been watching this channel, you know I love vaulted ceilings. It makes the room feel much bigger. This bedroom faces the front of the house. So that was bedroom number two. Now we have split living, so this is the master. Vaulted ceilings as well, faces the backyard. Not a huge room either but it'll be fine. I, I, I'm a big fan of throwing like French doors or a slider to access the backyard. I think that really opens it up and I, I, I love that. Great shower, no bathtub, but look at that. Like they went all the way up to the ceiling. They followed the lines, vaulted, just makes it feel huge. It's got the rain shower dual heads on both sides. That's a great shower. Then we have the walk-in closet. 
nothing too spectacular. Some extra linen storage right there. And then over to the laundry pass through, the laundry room that goes to the garage. So they put insulation on the garage door. And the reason they did that is they have a mini split, which is basically a uh, cheaper AC that you can easily add retrofit to any house. So that's where the AC would come in so you could keep this room cooled. Looks like maybe they had a shop in here or obviously just hung out in here because that would be the only reason you would AC it. Hot water heater. So having an AC garage can help. You know, you could put a home gym. You just have a lot of options. I got flip-flops on today, so that's probably the flip-flop in your hearing. Great big backyard. So I am up against the fence. If you wanted to, you could put in a pool, hot tub. You do have room for a lot of different activities. Side gate. Then we have the uh, heating and cooling, the AC system over here. That looks like it's been replaced recently. So that's great. Oh, and then there is the mini split. So that's the, the, the AC system that we were talking about that feeds into the garage. Well, that's this three bedroom, two bath home in Chandler, Arizona. If you have any questions, go down the description, reach out to us. You can call, text, email, and uh, we'd love to help you find your place. My brother and I are both licensed realtors here in Arizona, and we love to help people buy and sell real estate. So whether you're moving out of state or you're moving across the city, we service the whole valley. Talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.